Do you want to know how to get a negative car loan through Santander removed from your credit report? If so, tune in to this video. Da -da -da -da. Oh, oh. Da -da -da -da. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As promised, I'm about to show you how to get Santander accounts removed from your credit report. And I'm going to go through this as quick as I can, but I do want to provide you with all the steps that's going to help you get this account removed. So I'm going to show you exactly what worked for me, and uh, I'm sure this is going to work for you too, because at the end of the day, it's something that the credit bureaus have to follow. So as long as you know the laws and you know what your rights are, you can get pretty much any account deleted that has negative or inaccurate information. So on this particular account, you're going to need a copy of your credit report. So if you don't have a copy, I will put a link in the show notes that you can get one from, or you can use anything like Identity IQ, which I'm going to show you that on this example, Smart Credit, Free Score 360. I really love that one. I have a link for that one where you can get your credit reports for a dollar and be able to look at all the information, you know, side by side the way you need to. And uh, this is going to help you with finding inaccuracies and getting these accounts deleted. So we're going to start with this one. This is, an, uh, this is an identity IQ credit report for the Santander account. So take a look at this. And on this, what we're looking for is we're trying to find inaccuracies. We're trying to find something that doesn't add up. So take a look at these different fields. You got account status, you got monthly payment, you got the date the account was opened, you got things like the past due amount, the payment status, the date of last activity, the date of your last payment. All these details need to match up completely across the board with TransUnion, Equifax and Experian. And if they're not adding up, then that is a reason for you to be able to dispute. So on this particular example, what worked for me on this account, I used the date last active for my dispute. And if you see, TransUnion is saying that it is August the 31st that I was last active. Experian is saying that it was May the 1st when I was last active. And Equifax said it was August the 1st when I was last active. All right, everybody can't be right. It's impossible. If you're getting your information from the same source, everyone can't be right. It's got to match across the board. If I went to Santander and asked them a question and they tell me an answer, but then you go to Santander and ask them the same exact question, but they give you a different answer, it's not adding up. So I wrote a dispute letter. And in that dispute letter, what I did was I said, hey, this isn't making sense. Uh, you're reporting this, but the other two credit bureaus are reporting this. And I don't know who's right. Aren't y'all getting your information from the the same source and here's what was really kind of the the ammo that i needed on this they were in some trouble with the way that they were reporting things with the cfpb and the cfpb is basically they are who enforce your rights your rules when it comes down to the fair credit reporting act the fair credit reporting act is what makes sure that everything on your credit report is 100% accurate, there's nothing off, and Santander was seriously violating this on a lot of people's credit reports to the point it became a story, it became something they were in hot water over, and I was able to leverage that in order to get this deletion. So in my dispute letter, I also said, Hey, and also I see where Santander has a history of reporting things inaccurately. I see they were in the news because of this. I see they had to get a uh, an order of consent. I said, yeah, this, I mean, I'm a victim here. This exact thing is happening to me. Delete this from my credit report immediately. And that's what I did. So as you can see here, I'm going to actually put the uh, the CFPB 
lawsuit on the uh the screen well not lawsuit the uh the the consent order on the screen and as you can see i mean this is pretty bad it's basically saying that santander was violating the fair credit reporting act that we just talked about and there was a consent order that's in connection with santander for providing erroneous consumer loan data to the consumer reporting agencies. This is the credit bureaus. And basically was saying that they were, they knew or they reasonably should have known that the information was inaccurate. They were failing to furnish accurate information regarding whether accounts were open or closed. They were, let's see, they were also having information be incomplete. You can't report incomplete information as well. And they were failing to establish reasonable written policies on basically making sure that information is accurate. So, hey, <laughs> this is ammo right here. This is all the ammo you would need to be able to get an account deleted from your credit report. So in addition to my dispute letter, I attached this exact letter as well, and I basically sent it one time. I did one follow-up after that, said, hey, did y'all not get my letter? And I reattached this CFPB uh, consent order story as well, and that was enough to get the account deleted. This actually worked for a, a few other auto loan accounts, but basically, you want to just try to find some kind of dirt, some kind of story, something going on of them having a history of reporting inaccurate information. And that's been a pretty big, uh, you know, uh, key for me in getting a lot of accounts deleted. So even as you can see right here, I was able to get Santander deleted, but I also was able to get TD Auto Finance deleted. And that was a repo. So just saying it works. So I hope this works for you. And if you like videos like this, do me a favor. Just subscribe to the channel. I'm going to give you stuff like this every single week. Stuff that you don't even have to pay for. So come back. Keep learning for free. And uh, I'll catch you next week with uh, another tip for you.